our channel. As always, there's no real fur on this channel except for Danny's fur. So today we're doing another draw with me video and while we draw I'm going to tell you the story of how I met Danny. So if you want to draw along with me grab your art supplies and let's get started. Hi Fluff! So for this tutorial you will need a sketchbook or some paper to draw on, a pacer, some lead, an eraser and a black pen. Start by doing a light sketch, then go over it with ink later. And while I'm drawing, I'm going to tell you the story of how I met Danny. So this story begins way back in 2006. This was before Instagram even existed. I feel so old. Anyway, um, my husband, who was back then my fiance, and I had thought long and hard about it, and we decided that we were ready to get a dog. So we went to look at some puppies that were available for adoption. My husband wanted a retriever or a beagle, so the first puppy we looked at was a golden retriever. I wasn't sure about getting a dog like that because I had a similar one growing up, so we decided to look at some beagles next. My husband really liked the beagles, but I still wasn't sure, so we decided to go home and think about it. And as we were walking home, that's when it happened. It was fate. It was meant to be. We saw a little cage by the side of the road, and someone had abandoned a little puppy. That little puppy was Danny. Actually, he was quite big. He was the size of a small adult retriever, but he was the runt of the litter that nobody else wanted. I recognized him as a Malamute because I had had one growing up. I definitely don't recommend Malamutes or Huskies for first-time dog owners because they are more difficult to train than other dogs. Anyway, as soon as I looked into this little puppy's eyes, I knew that he was the one for us. My husband said it was love at first sight, so we decided to take Danny home. We didn't have a leash or anything with us, but luckily I had some yellow ribbon in my bag. I was super into scrapbooking back then, so I had all sorts of stationery supplies that I carried with me. And we tied the little yellow ribbon around Danny's neck and somehow he knew that meant he now had a forever home. He was so excited, he was jumping around and whining and howling and ever since that day he has loved wearing things around his neck like collars and scarves. I think it reminds him of the day that we adopted him. After we got home, the first thing we did was book an appointment at the vet for Danny. I had decided to name Danny after my favourite cartoon, Danny Phantom. I thought about naming him Phantom, but he was such a sweet personality that Phantom is too scary a name for him. And when Danny sleeps, he has ghost eyes, so the name really suits him. I explained about Danny's ghost eyes on this channel before. Anyway, we took Danny to the vet and the first thing the vet said was, what is wrong with him? He was way too skinny and the vet said that he was only half the weight that he should be at that age. She estimated that he was about 4 months old and he was 15 kilos but should have weighed 30 kilos. She told us that Danny had nearly starved to death so it was lucky that we rescued him when we did. Then she told us that we had to feed him very slowly so that no more damage would be done to his bones or organs. Danny's front leg bones had started to grow in crooked because of his starvation. The vet also told us that Danny might not live that long, maybe only three to five years, but by this time we were completely smitten with the little guy, so we decided to love and look after him no matter how long he lived. And now, 12 and a half years later, Danny is still alive. We hope that he'll make it to 13 years old this year in November. So despite Danny's rough start in life, he's been a pretty healthy dog. 
He is old now, so he walks a lot slower and doesn't have much energy, but he's still happy. I'm very glad that Danny is still with us. I don't know what I would do without him. He's such a gentle soul and a very good boy. So that is the video for today. We hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to show us all your drawings using the hashtag DannyDireWolf. And we'll see you next time. Stay fluffy. Bye.